So if you watch my channel, then you know I'm affiliated with Show Z. I do reviews for them, and Show Z is a great company. They've been around for about two and a half years. They've always taken good care of me. And any small issues that arise, they have great service after the sale. One thing you may not know about me in the earlier days, I actually was working with TF Direct. Still a great company. I have nothing negative to say about them. And I will kind of tell you some of the pluses and minuses of TF Direct versus Show Z. And I've made an entire video about that also but today i'm going to discuss the benefits the pluses and the negatives the minuses of ordering overseas or ordering locally so for me my experience is the u.s other countries if you live in a different country your experience would be similar yet with different companies probably and then i'm also going to discuss something that people keep bringing up in my comments about me being affiliated with show z and i'm going to save that for the end so let's get into this So first off, I'm going to start about talking about ordering straight from China, ordering overseas, getting from the distributors that are right there where the stuff is getting made. There's a lot of pluses to ordering straight from China, and I'm going to get into that, and I'm going to lump some of these companies together and just talk about it as a whole. There are different experiences, whether you go with Alibaba, which is, is more of a larger quantity distributor and you want to buy multiples there they do have minimum requirements so i mean they sort of factor into this they do sell fans toys in there uh looking at baba bobo is very similar to the tf direct but i've never done business with them other than on ebay so i really can't speak to ordering straight from their site but i have a lot of experience with both show z and tf direct so first of all, i want to talk about the price usually you get a better price in the case of this zero one studios sell this thing's available for $320. There's a lot of other good examples out there of great prices. That's a good price compared to everywhere else trying to get $400 out of this guy right now. So that's a good example of a lower price. Now, this isn't consistent. This isn't always. Not every item's going to be cheaper. But this is a good example for me for right now. Another plus to ordering from Show Z or TF Direct or one of the ones over there is that they actually do get their stock in stock earlier. Now, now, that's a plus, even though you're not going to see it before, maybe a U.S. retailer one. It does come in earlier. They are much closer to the manufacturing process, so they're going to get them faster. They're going to have the stock. So it does feel a little bit better that yours is moving in motion. You, they've got it in stock. They've got it, and they're shipping it out to you. That does feel pretty good knowing that something's going on, and you for sure are going to get your figure. Another plus to ordering from China or one of these other retailers over there like Show Z is that they do sell knockoffs which kind of was one of the things that attracted to me to these in the first place because I did want a cheaper alternative in the earlier days and I found it over there and in the early days for me it was a dice roll these days it's not a dice roll it's a sure thing I can really trust both of those companies, the TF Direct and Show Z, that I'm going to get my item and especially when you're going to get an item for hundreds of dollars less than you would have paid originally. Now the downsides, there are downsides of course, the longer wait. Now sometimes it may take three weeks, maybe it'll take two months, who knows, anywhere between three weeks and two months for me to get my items. And I gotta say, if I'm saving money over the long run, I'm fine with it. I know a lot of people want to be first in this game. A lot of reviewers want to be the first. A lot of collectors want to be able to post on social media they have it first. But I'm not in a super hurry myself. I would much rather get a little bit better price and wait a little bit longer. And that's where I'm at. Now when I do my reviews, I like to have as much information as possible. And it's kind of interesting hearing the buzz for two or three weeks about an item and then doing my review on it and having a couple of extra tidbits to talk about in my video. Now, real quick, I do want to point out some of the differences between Show Z and TF Direct and kind of why I favor Show Z a little more than TF Direct, even though uh, they're very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, their site makeup is very similar also. But the number one thing was I was ordering from both at the time, and it just seemed like Show Z used airmail more often and it showed up quicker. So I'd see it in three weeks. It would take a month and a half, two months from TF Direct. During that one point in time, uh, I think TF Direct and Show Z explore very similar shipping options these days. 
But that was one of the first things that made me like Shozi, favor Shozi a little bit more. The other thing was Shozi consistently had a little bit lower price. And with that lower price, it may have only been 2 or $3 dollars but it still adds up over 30 to 60 figures or whatever. So that was another thing that I liked. And then I didn't even know at the time shows he had a premium. Uh, you could sign up for a premium and get more rewards points. Now, TF Direct also offers a $5 monthly uh, discount. So you could just use $5 off of one item. That's over $100 every single month. That's, that's something that they offer. You, TF uh, Direct also has, if you've been with them a while, they just automatically give you a discount, which I don't really know how that plays in. I missed that whole point, but I've been with them a long time, so if I order something, it's a little bit cheaper. And then, uh, with Show Z themselves, the pre-order is a lot cheaper. So, Show Z pre-orders are like a dollar, two dollars. I did notice a couple Fans Toys ones that are 15, which is new. I don't know if they're continuing that process or if that was just a temporary thing. But with TF Direct, it's usually like $10 down, depending on how expensive the item is. So, for the most part, it's much cheaper to pre-order from Show Z. And I don't mind dropping a dollar or two for a pre-order. When you start looking at committing $10, $15, that's when I have to start thinking twice. And I think most people feel the same way. Now again, for all the other ones over there, the other overseas companies, I don't have a whole lot of experience with them and like Alibaba here. It's interesting how many figures that people are looking for that are available on Alibaba in larger quantities than I would think. I mean, it's not just one of each. And some of them require you to buy two minimum. And some of the prices are pretty hefty. So I'm kind of curious about like where are they getting them? How do they have so many? And how do they decide their prices? But it's an interesting option if you want to go for it. Now looking at buying from a U.S. retailer. There, there's a bunch of them out there. I only grabbed four that I was wanting to talk about that I hear a lot of people talk about that I see a lot. But I personally use TF Source the most. I've been using them for over five years. Maybe it's six by now. I don't know. For a long time. And I know that I trust them. I don't have any issues with them whatsoever. And so I could recommend them. I know other people have had issues with them. And I will address those here in just a little bit. But like Toy Dojo, Chosen Prime, Agabus, they're all good companies, good solid companies, very reputable and very trustworthy to get your stuff. So not singling TF Source out for any reason whatsoever, it's just I have a lot of time with them so I know a lot about them so I could talk a lot about them. So when you order from US, you're generally going to pay a little bit higher price. So I guess I'm starting with the downside of it and that's just in my mind I'm paying a higher price for the item and that is the big negative here for me uh, the other negative you cannot buy KOs when you order from a US distributor I know there's a huge anti KO crowd out there I know that but for whatever reason if you're anti KO it's no big deal this is a non factor to you but there's a lot of people that do like buying some KOs and you can't get them in the US and, and it's against the rules, against the law. They just can't carry it. They would get in so much trouble if they carried KO product. And so the positives for buying from US or locally from whatever country you're in, the positive for that would probably be you'll get it quicker. I mean, I, I say probably. I actually have ordered the same item, exact same item. I wanted to. I got one local and I got one from Show Z, and I was just curious which one would show up quicker. And of course, the one I bought from the US did show up quicker. It only showed up about eight or nine days sooner than the one from Show Z, and I did pay more for the one that came sooner. So it was kind of a fun little test that I had, and that's uh, that was about a month and a half ago. I think the shipping is getting a little bit better, but uh, hopefully it doesn't go backwards and get back to where it was back in March. It's the other positive from buying from the US would be that you would get something quicker if there's an issue. So let's say you have an issue and you need to get a replacement or something along those lines, you're probably going to get it quicker. But it's sort of when it comes to like fans toys figures that are sold out and nobody has them anymore, you're going to have to go fans toys themselves directly through fans toys themselves. So it's really not going to be a plus in a way, depending on which figure it is, if they have more in stock, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to have to order my parts from Fans Toys and fix them myself because I'm probably not going to get a replacement from most of these sold out U.S. retailers. 
And now this is kind of a, a sidebar discussion, but I've heard of other people in other countries that are ordering from U.S. retailers, which in my mind, it doesn't make sense. Like, why would you want to order a, a Masterpiece Transformer from a U.S. retailer if you live in Australia? Why wouldn't you go straight to a Chinese distributor? Why wouldn't you go to Shoji, TF Director, one of them? Why would you do that? Why would you go to TF Source and all them? I, I, nothing wrong with it. I mean, TF Source and all them could do it, but it doesn't make sense to me. And I think that they've had, a couple of them have had bad experiences with it, but it doesn't make sense. Get it straight from the source is what my suggestion would be. I don't want to dig into TF Source's business or anyone else's business, uh, Chosen Primary, that but it really blows my mind if you're international, why you wouldn't just go with someone that's gonna ship it to you international. Now I do know Shozy does ch charge higher rates of shipping to some countries and I don't keep tabs on all of that, but it's kind of curious to me. And I'd like to get more feedback on this. But my last positive, cause I, I like to be positive, believe it or not, I like being positive, is that a lot of these do have Hasbro product. A lot of the the companies like TF Source and the Chosen Primes of the world, you could buy Hasbro product in, and you can't get official Hasbro product from uh, overseas, the, the Chinese distributors. You get KOs from them. So that's, if that's something you care about, then, then that's great. Uh, a lot of the masterpiece collectors aren't concerned about that. But like right now we have a few things popping up like the Quintesson that you might want to get. Now on to probably the most con Controversial thing I'm going to talk about in this video and this is something spurred from comments all year in my comment section and I kind of skate around the topic and I'm going to hit it head head on head on right now a lot of people say Mike you're not sporting America if you shop at Shozy if you are affiliated with Shozy if you are promoting Shozy and you're doing reviews for Shozy you're not supporting America and here is the thing I have two responses to that just to clear everything up. Number one, if you are ordering something, a Masterpiece Transformer from any distributor, those were made in China, 60% of that cost, whether you buy it from TF Source, well, 100% from Shozi is going to China, it's going to another country, it's not staying in the US. So if anybody has an issue with their purchase not going to the US, the money's not staying in the US, then you just gotta rethink what you're buying because it's not going to the US either. 60% of it's not going to TF Source. If they're lucky at the end of the whole deal, they've made 20% off of whatever they're selling. That would be a good margin for them after all of their expenses. And also, I get things cheaper from overseas, so there's another you know 20%, but at that, they're lucky to make 20%. So that's what would stay in the US. The other thing about this is that if you have a problem with uh, your money going overseas, then you also need to take a look around Walmart. If you take a look around Walmart and look at where things are manufactured there, you might have a problem with buying stuff, anything at Walmart. Now we're taking a neutral political stance on this. No matter what our governments are doing in whatever countries there are, Every country has good people in there working to support their families. It may be a family of one supporting themselves, a family of six. Who knows? But I feel Shows ETF Direct, all of these companies that I deal with are good people working hard to support their family and taking good care of me, selling me a good or service, in this case a good, that I do want and that I do need and I am very happy supporting people like that. So I'm interested in hearing what everybody else has to say about all this good stuff. I hope everybody enjoys their Black Friday sales all day today. I know Black Friday sales have been going on for weeks right now. I also hope you guys got a little bit out of this and get an idea of whether you want to order internationally or locally. And maybe break down some barriers for people that have fears of ordering anything internationally. I do a lot of international business myself, so I don't really see any problems with it. Like, subscribe to Deer Manger out.